What's going on guys? We are back with another YouTube. This is four in a row, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. Hopefully you guys are having a great Monday. Look forward to these every Monday for the rest of the year. Uh, today's topic is gonna be talking about um, controlling your emotions as a sales rep, but not just controlling your emotions as a sales rep, but I'm gonna give you guys some tactical steps, some tactical actions to implement to control your emotions as a sales rep. We're gonna be talking about some of the benefits of getting some big wins, what it can do for you actually physiologically and on a scientific level, um, and then also just a morale type of level. So uh, hopefully you guys are gonna enjoy this video, share this video with anyone in sales that you, you know might need to control their emotions in some sense. Okay, so when it comes to controlling your emotions, uh, I, I wanna first start with the preface that as a sales rep, your whole job is to control your emotions, right? You have buyers who have all these, mm, let's just say preconceived ideas or judgments on how you should behave as a sales rep. So they might expect you to be super pushy, super salesy, and they might come at you with some negativity, um, some judgment. Um, they don't wanna be there type of vibe, that's okay. Your job is to not take it personally, your job is to control your emotions and take everything at face, face value. So that's number one. Um, and some of the ways that I'll step, that I'll do this is by repeating things back to the customer. So if they say, or the buyer. So basically if they say like, um, I don't understand, I'll repeat back to them what they told me, don't understand and then hopefully have them explain what they're not understanding. Lead with empathy. So your goal is not to have a gotcha moment on a buyer or a prospect. That's not the goal at all. Your goal should be, how do I have empathy with this prospect, make them feel heard, and then eventually close the sale if they're a right fit, and then point them in the right direction elsewhere if they're not a right fit. Um, so it's important to control the emotions of someone who's um, you know, might not want to be there as a buyer and you can't take that personally. On the other side, you can't get so excited when someone comes in and says, I'm ready to buy whatever it is. If they want to buy your piece of software, they're like, I'm ready to sign immediately. You have to, like, it's your job as a sales rep to level set and to be the counter action to their energy. So if someone's like, I'm ready to sign, again, you want to repeat back to them, ready to sign, understand what they're ready to sign on, and then a good thing that I always like to make sure, because I've had buyers who are really excited and I was really excited too. We missed a couple steps, ended up not getting a deal done. So some of the things that I'll do is I'll say, hey, it sounds like you're really excited. I love the enthusiasm for our software. I wish every prospect would have, I wish every uh, person I met with had your same enthusiasm. Um, hey, that being said, I wanted to make sure, you know, it sounds like you're ready to sign, um, but I wanna just go over some of what you're looking forward to in the platform and then show you what you might want uh, before signing on so we can make sure everyone's aligned and we're not gonna miss a step. So it's your job as a sales rep to diffuse someone who's negative and also control someone who's super excited. This could be like a really foreign or new concept to anyone who's listening right now, like controlling your emotions, uh, as a sales rep is very difficult, but once you've been doing it for a while, I've been doing it for <sighs> probably five years now, um, and uh, it becomes second nature, and it's really nice because it translates into every aspect of my life. So uh, friendships, I can control people who are super high and then super low, I can kind of bring them up or I can kind of bring them in the middle. Uh, relationships, uh, you know, girls I've dated, uh, able to kind of take things at face value, not make judgments either way, and kind of counteract some of their behavior and kind of keep them here. And um, so the experience in sales and understanding um, just your psychology and um, what the power of empathy can do translates into every other sector, sector of your life. Um, so I want to also talk about the quick wins and so what wins can do for you. So let's say you book someone on a cold call, right? A prospect. Um, you can actually get a boost in testosterone from a good outcome of a call. So whereas a, this is scientific, you guys can look this up. Um, you will get a, a boost of testosterone, uh, male or female. Uh, if you close a deal, uh, if you get a quick win, it's, it's really physiologically important to celebrate those wins, but not to celebrate so much 
where you're out of control when something bad happens. You need to celebrate, okay, that was great, but I'm gonna keep it right here. And then when a, a low moment happens, it can actually um, lower or suppress your endorphins. So you get, you can become a little bit melancholy, a little bit sad, but it's your job as a sales rep to control that emotion by keeping it like right here. So some actionable ways that I'll do that is, uh, number one, I always have water on me. So I'm always uh, drinking probably like five to six uh, big 20 ounce um, water bottles per day just so I'm hydrated, I'm feeling good. Uh, I'm sleeping eight hours a day and then when I get a, a really bad loss, like if someone tells me they're choosing a competitor or they don't wanna talk to me anymore for whatever reason, I'll take a deep breath, do a lap around my apartment complex, sit outside for five to 10 minutes in the sun and come back in and get back to it. And if I have a really big win, I might text my brother or my friend and say, yo, this just happened, that was awesome. I might play like a really cool song, like I might dance around for like five minutes uh, and then it's over. I'm like, okay, that was great, back to work. So it's like both ends of the spectrum, I'm controlling my emotions. And that's what I want for you as well. The, I don't know, whoever's watching, right? I, I just started this YouTube channel, so like maybe it, one day I blow up and I have like 100,000 subscribers, or maybe one day I just don't. <laughs> and uh, whoever watches this is just watching um, me create content. So um, want to just talk about that, how to control a buyer's emotion, how to control your emotion as well, what wins can do for your body on a physiological standpoint, what losses can do for your body, not the best thing. And it's your job as a sales rep to control them. So hopefully these were helpful. Remember, be the counteracting, whatever emotion it is to your buyer. And then when a loss happens, control it by walking outside, taking a break, turning off your phone, get this thing out of here. Uh, and then when you win, maybe you celebrate for like five, 10 minutes and you, uh, you know, a lot of the power of a smile, when you smile, uh, you can exude a lot of really positive energy. Uh, when you frown, you can start draining yourself. So try not to get too high, try not to get too low. Hopefully this helped. And this is YouTube video number four in the books. Subscribe, share, please subscribe, please.